Hello, my Scorpios. Welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. And of course, I am Debbie. So I'm reading for July 7th through the 13th. Okay. Sorry, I'm a little late, but please watch my overview. Uh, what did I call it? New start. Take control. It's weird energies as always. Always. It's always happening. I feel like the universe wants to give you a big hug, though, my Scorpio. So remember, these are general readings. May or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. Okay. Let's see. Like I said, I feel like the Empress energy wants to come give you a big hug help you through some of your trials and tribulations wants to put you on the right path the right path wants to put you on the right path so listen to listen and watch for the signs okay scorpios listen and watch for the signs i'm not saying you're not on the right path um but whatever the the signs will help to push you onto that right path or help you go forward okay Higher power, Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus, what do you want to say to people, to your Scorpios? Here we go. Reversed, reversed, stronger little oomph to him. First card is eight of Michael. So eight is an unlimited opportunities and possibilities. Sometimes people are like, you are ready, you are there. Michael is air energy. It is Aquarius, Gemini, and Libra. Now, Libra and Aquarius have a lot going on. I think Gemini, Gemini is going to have something going on. Or there is some Gemini influences. But thought processes, thinking things through, making some plans. Um, like I said, the, I feel like the universe wants to push you forward on that right path. And the aid of Michael is kind of saying the same thing, okay? She's opening the door. She is opening the gate. She is looking forward. There is Archangel Michael in this card ready to help her move forward with this. This is breaking out of old thoughts, old behaviors, seeing maybe some of the truth that you've not wanted to really take a look at about yourself, about your situation. But again, it's like pushing you forward. You can be free. Make a courageous choice to change your situation. Not seeing things clearly. Hmm. Well, we all have that, don't we? Next card reversed is the seven of Ariel. So now we have that seven. The divine umbrella, the protector, the protection. Even though it might be raining and we might our feet might still get a little wet, we are being protected from the, um, from the intensity of what's going on. Ariel is our earth energy. It is our Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. Remember, we've got those two Capricorn moons. We've got Taurus. You know, there's, what did I say? Some uh, Something, Uranus with Taurus. There's things going on with that energy, that earth energy. But the seven of Ariel says, just be a little patient. You are ready to move forward. You, but again, I get this thing. You need to be watching. You need to be waiting. You need to be watching for the signs watch for the signs there are signs all around you pray pray ask your angels ask god whoever that is you pray for you don't have to you don't have to believe my beliefs okay i you know use your own insights with this but this is saying something is moving and um like i said the the universe the energies god source wants to give you a little helping give you a little nudge so you have invested wisely have patience and wait for the harvest. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. Your last card here is the emperor. So not the empress, but the emperor. So we have that four. So we have an eight, seven, four, four, seven, eight. The uh, four is stability, organization, and leadership. Archangel Uriel brings light to dark, okay? Brings wisdom when you need it. If you're, you're like, oh, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. Archangel Uriel is someone you can ask, okay? Will help you with making some decisions. Will help you see some of that pathway. The emperor brings about the major arcana, brings about stability, brings about organization. The emperor also, I feel like there is a ruling um, energy here for you, my Scorpios. The, the emperor has a ruling to get you put, uh, to get you on your path. Stability and efficiency, taking charge of a situation, ambitious plans. So something going on. Now, very much a masculine energy. I kind of feel like with the emperor that there's a little friction. You're kind of like, I don't want to go that way. I don't want to do that. You know, I want to, I want more of this. I don't want to do that. So you may be um, struggling a little bit 
against the rules and regulations. I know it's not the five, it's not the Hierophant, but, the, um, but you may be struggling with the rules and regulations. The rules and regulations just, you know, again, kind of going back to this whole time and the previous, it just doesn't make sense. But, you know, you have to make some choices here. And, and again, watch the signs. Watch for the signs, Scorpios. Okay, higher power, Holy Spirit, Jesus, what is there else? What else is there? Again, this one is reversed. The messenger of thought. So this is the page, who is also a messenger. This is thought, which is air energy. Underlying energy for the page is earth energy. So you have the earth and the air again. So there is a lot of like a new beginning, new job, new way of thinking, new opportunities. It's just, and it's something that you really might want to, it may excite you. Hopefully it excites you in a very good, positive way, but it may get you a little bit riled up at the same time. Anyway, a new topic or intellectual project is really exciting for you. So there could be a new job with this or a new promotion or a new way of doing your uh, of doing whatever it is you do to, with your career. Um, there's so much to learn. Again, we go back to the seven to learn before you feel ready to move forward. New information may require changes to your plans. Review all documents carefully. You know, will meet or are someone who loves to learn and share knowledge. This person is brilliant and truthful, but also blunt and not very diplomatic. So if this is something to do with your job, and it is, again, this, there's a little rebellious against the rules, um, be very careful about your speak. Okay, about your how you're how you're presenting yourself. You know, if you're if you're new to the situation, um, unless they hired you to do this, and I'm I'm sorry, even when they tell you they hire you to be the one to point out, they really you really need to be very diplomatic while doing that. Anyway, well, whoever that was for. Anyway, let's see. Higher power, Holy Spirit, Jesus. What else for Scorpios? What else for Scorpios? What else? What other message for Scorpios? Here we go. Fairy voyage. Voyage. Okay, remember, as a child of power, you can bring joy and purpose to the world. You have to remember your own worth. You have to remember why you're here. You have to remember that you were brought into this world because you were going to make a difference. I know sometimes it doesn't feel that way, but you will be as a as a child of power. You can bring joy and purpose to the world, okay? But you have to you have to work with that a little bit, and it has to be you know. And it, again, it's uh, is it you know your way or the highway? Anyway, let's see what crystal would be good for Scorpio. What crystal would be good for Scorpio? Crystal, crystal, Scorpio, my Scorpio crystals. Crystal Scorpio, here we go. Oh, ooh, a zebra stone helps with compassion, helps you with your root chakra. Hmm, compassion, is that finding compassion for others or finding compassion for you? Root chakra, is that trying to help you become I don't know, a little bit more stable. Again, I feel a little rebellious energy with you in, in this one, but you know, maybe it's not as much fun. Okay, Scorpios, let me know. I, I generally do my reading so I can, I'll give you what I'm getting, but I tell you what the cards say so that maybe you can put your own spin on these. Okay, again, watch for the signs and maybe that was one of your signs. Anyway, my Scorpios, do me a favor, please, like, share, subscribe, click on that bell over there for notifications. As always, Scorpios, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.